Joshua Cook back here on RaiderPower.com with uh, Texas Tech senior quarterback Seth Dagey. What does it feel like now knowing you're a senior and you're entering your final campaign with the Red Raiders in 2012? I'm excited about it. I think we have a good group coming back. Um, some of our young guys are coming along. We've had a really good summer. So uh, I'm just ready to translate all that hard work that we put in in the summer and the spring onto the, onto the field in fall and get ready to play some games. Now in the preseason, you've been on almost every preseason watch list, Manning Award watch list, and the list goes on and on. What does that mean to you, having that kind of recognition before the preseason? Is more pressure than anything? Uh, for me, it gives me some confidence, um, knowing that you know, you're recognized at that, that high of a level, and it's kind of a compliment to the rest of the team, too, because you know I couldn't do any of that, or I couldn't be on any of those lists without, without those guys. So... Um, I'm just excited about it. I'm excited about the season. You know, I don't really think about those lists. I think about winning games and all the hard work all my teammates have, have dedicated and put in over the summer. Talking about the hard work uh, over the summer, what's the summer been like for you uh, working out and getting ready for this season? Uh, it's been good. Uh, you know, i just trying to maintain where I'm at uh, uh, and getting my arm a little stronger so I can put a little more zip on the ball and, and we're working on a lot of accuracy stuff. So. But uh, overall, it's been a good summer. Um, our throwing session has been really well. Um, just just being out there throwing those guys just gets me excited because I think the, I think we're going to shock some people how talented we are, you know, skill wise. Talk about the guys you have been throwing to because I mean, you look down the wide receiver roster right now. It's unbelievable the depth that you'll have at wide receiver. What's it like having that many weapons, knowing you can throw it to anybody and they can take it the length of the field? Yeah, like you said, there's tons of depth all across the board. So we got a lot of guys that can make a lot of plays. So uh, it's just it's just it's just a really good feeling for a quarterback knowing that, dude, if if whoever's in, you know, you, you're you're comfortable enough to that you, they're going to make a play. So, you know, maybe in the past you, you thought, well, if this guy's not in and then somebody else is in, I'm not as comfortable throwing a go route to this guy as I am to this guy. Well, you know, everybody on, on board right now is, is really good at, at, at what they do. So I'm excited about it, and we're going to do some different things to get some guys, guys the ball and put it in their hands, see what they can do with it. What are your expectations for the offense heading into this season? Uh, my expectation is to be the be the best, be the best in the country, and I think we have all the tools and all the talent uh, in place to do that. Now it's all it, it comes down to going to make plays on Saturday, and uh, so that's 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 my expectation. Uh, like we have, if you look at the offensive line, we have so many starts, experience all across the board. The Raven Clark might be the young guy, but he's a he's a he's a beast. So. Um, and then we got we got some depth at running back, and uh, so I'm excited about it. I can't wait can't wait to step on the field with these guys. I guess talking about the running back situation, Eric Stevens and DeAndre Washington working their way back. What's it gonna be like to have them back when they do come back at 100 percent health? Yeah, it'll be good. I mean, uh, they've worked really hard rehabbing. They've they've dedicated themselves to showing up every day and, and trying to get something done. I know it's a it's not an easy rehab process, so you, you know mentally or physically. So it's. It's been tough, but they've they've really battled through it and they've done a good job. So, uh, you know, having them back will give us some depth at running back. But at the same time, Kenny and Sadell and Quentin White have had a good summer, and uh, they're going to push for some playing time. And so we got some uh, we got some talent at running back, you know, and we, we'll, we'll be able to do some different things with with all with all you know all five of them. Finally, before I let you go, I guess everybody across the nation now knows how to say your last name. Uh, what was the idea behind that video? And uh, you kind of had a little chuckle at the end of the video going, man, I'm going to be made fun of for uh, this. Yeah, there's no question. I've already caught so much grief for that. <laughs> uh, all, my, all my buddies in Lubbock for sure will let me have it. But uh, uh, it, the, 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 the reason behind it is that nobody really can pronounce Daggy correctly. So now that people have, have seen the video know how to say it, um, and they'll remember the video. So uh, I thought it was a good video and I had a lot of fun doing it. So uh, I caught a couple of griefs. So what? <laughs> you, Darvish, can say your name. So anyone can say your name now for sure. Right, yeah. Well, with Texas Tech quarterback Seth Deggie at Big 12 Media Days 2012, I'm Joshua Cook for RaiderPower.com.